going on guys I'm back after a long period of time with a very short tutorial on Weka because I was asked a question from one of the Weka users that if you have a data set or R file and if you do not have your class attribute or class feature at the very end of that R file by using the Explorer how can you uh, define that particular feature as a class feature and take that to the very end of your uh, feature set so in order to do that today I'm going to show you this example okay so in this example you can see that I have 36 features and my 35th feature is my class attribute but that's not actually sitting at the very bottom of my attribute list here on Weka Explorer. So you have to have your class feature uh, sitting at the very end of your feature list because that's important. If you remember that when I used the Java API at that time one of the very first thing I needed to do is to set the class feature because if you do not have any class feature uh, set at that time if you want to do a classification task your classification algorithm will not understand uh, actually what's your class feature or class attribute so if you have something like this if you have you, if, you, if you are facing this problem that you have numbers of features but your class attribute is not set at the very end of this feature list what can you do is you can go uh, you can go to edit and here I know that my class feature is at the very end the last uh, second last feature so I click on that particular column here and I'm choosing attribute as class so when I am done I can click on the OK button here and you can now see that your class feature is now set to the 36th feature uh, that means it's the last feature of your feature list so in this way uh, you can um, you can take your class feature back to the end of your feature list I hope that helps thank you very much